What's going on, guys? James Camacho here. This is kicking it with Camacho. Um, guys, thank you so much for uh, watching. Currently, we are at 2,398 watch hours of uh, my goal of 4,000, guys. So please keep liking, please keep watching, please keep subscribing. Uh, why don't you just do a bunch of cocaine and watch the podcast on repeat? That would be great. <laughs> You know what's sad? I have uh, my buddy Kevin here joining me this week. You know what's sad? My special's coming out. Uh, I think we're doing it early May. Mm. And they're like, uh, is you, they're telling me all this shit. You want to set a premiere date. You want to get a thumbnail. You want, you know, make sure your page is set up for monetization. And I'm just like, I, I don't have that yet. And they're almost, they're just like, well, that's all right, buddy. That's all right. By the way, that's 1500 for the last edit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, my God. But yeah, guys, so <laughs> on that note, please... Um, like, subscribe, share, comment, share with someone that you think might enjoy this ridiculousness. Please also, uh, for Patreon, patreon.com slash James Camacho is five bucks a month. You get a free episode every Friday. I say this every week, the fucking, uh, Patreon money really just goes back into better production for the podcast. So you're really just paying for the podcast, which is a kind of a weird thing to say. Um, but yes, um, like, scare, subscribe, oh, oh on the socials, Instagram, TikTok, please go follow, please go like, and um, please come see me live. This weekend, I'm going to be in Medford, Oregon at uh, Chadwick's, unfortunately, <laughs> um, and then Spokane, Washington, March 10th. That's that's fortunately. Albany, New York. Are you doing that with me? You haven't asked. I'm down, though. You want to drive up there? Maybe we can get drive up <laughs> Let's there. Let's do it. Albany, New York, March 24th. Please come out to that, and then New York City, um, the Fresh Mud Blood slash uh, my my uh, uh, working out show slash Kevin's also going to be on that show. Um, that's at the Soho Playhouse, which uh, sounds a lot grander than uh, it actually is. <laughs> so doesn't that give off the vibe like Soho House? Like this is right, exclusive. Right, right. Like I've made it. And yep. uh, no, it's about a twenty four seat place. It's in, a basement. Uh, uh, it's next to the Comedy Cellar. If that gives it any uh, more allure. But please get those tickets. Um, there's not that many seats. I wasn't kidding. It's only about like what? Not 24, maybe 50 seats. So please yeah. get your tickets for that. And uh, all right, enough soliciting. Is there anything else to solicit? That's it. Guys, <laughs> we have here uh, Kevin McLoin. Kevin is officially the first recurring guest on my podcast series. I'm honored. This has been about, I've done about 200 podcasts, I think. And mm. <laughs> I haven't made a single. I think I'll, I actually know the, the Patreon I made a couple bucks, but um, yeah, you're here. Uh, I appreciate you coming, man. Um, I've been um, usually Thursdays. I'm just a kid. This today's Thursday. That's when I'm when I'm going to release this. Okay. Yeah. Um, which is tomorrow actually. But usually I do. A, I'm just a kid. But uh, I kind of told you earlier. People keep canceling. Mm. So uh, you know, it's, isn't that crazy? Isn't that rude to cancel? You know. You know who I, I try to because I've been trying to diversify. The, the guests, I've been trying to have dudes and chicks. Right. The chicks, always cancel. Yeah. Always cancel, dude. Yeah. Do you feel that way? Like, if, even if you book them, maybe if you don't book them on shows, but do you feel like the chicks are very flaky? I could I could see that. Yeah. Yeah. Here's what I realized from 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 being in a long-term relationship and now from dealing with women just, you know, in, in my work life. Lady, the girls, they only do things that they think there's a, there's, like they're going to get benefit, something to benefit out of. <laughs> You know, yeah, they, yeah. they never put themselves in situations where it's just like, is it like they always I think they have a literally an assessment. Is this worth it for me? What am I getting out of this? Nothing. I ain't fucking showing up. Sure. Know? Sure. Yeah. 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 You could get into the primal nature of that. You know, there's some of that, I guess, at play. That's right? their instinct. That's their like yeah. our instinct is like fight, fight, whatever. Fight, but fight, fuck. They're more like uh, <laughs> uh, what, what's best for what's best for uh, uh, Jennifer, you know? Right, what's best for Jennifer and her and her eggs? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Well, if you think about like dating and stuff, it's like when they like uh, listen. Guys go on dates like they're more like, uh, oh man, I'll get late tonight. Girls are like, uh, is it is it, am I gonna is he gonna what am I gonna get out of this? Sure, you know. Sure, what's his credit score? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's his credit? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what's his credit score? What's his car? What's right. his job? Right, right. What's this? What's that? Does he have a boat? Like sure. we're just like look and at I that. I even feel like the height thing. That's not even like a sexual attraction. That's just like a. Oh, yeah, this is good to have in my arm. He's he, tall. It he looks good. In, me. It looks good in pictures. Yeah. I think. you know. Listen, uh, yeah. I could use this. Right. Yeah. Right. I can wear heels with him. You know. You know. It's, al you know. Also, it's functional. I, here's another. Here's how. Also, how I know I'm right. 
when my ex and I were breaking up, she used to tell me, it's like, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting anything out of this relationship. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, I'm useless right. to you now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, there was a lot of bitterness behind that. All right. Um, what's going on, Kev? Nothing much, man. You know, no, yeah. no pressing life events. Couple, a uh, couple tour dates coming up for uh, Prohibition. There, talk about uh, it. We'll be in Austin, March fourteenth, and then uh, we'll be in Columbus, Ohio, oh, March twenty second, and then Pittsburgh the day after, March twenty third. These are so, all one night, one night things. Yeah, okay. yeah, all okay. one night things. Um, I'll be down in Austin the night before, you mm-hmm. know, checking out the scene a bit. Um, and then I can't stay that weekend. I got my buddy's fucking wedding to go to. Oh, so. God. Yeah, disgusting. When is that? Because know? that now that's now a chore, right? There's a certain age where you, where you get a wedding. It's a, ch- it's a chore yeah. and it's a financial burden is what it is. Dude, I haven't... Because cause the first... I just started going to weddings like last year. I think I went to four or five. Yeah. And it's still exciting. But mm-hmm. um, my buddy's having one coming up in May, June. And, um, you know, I basically blocked off that weekend for work. And then like now without, I used to, I, I used to just go with, with my ex. Now I'm like going, probably going to go alone or maybe I'll just hire someone to come with me. But, <laughs> um, no, but it's, it is just kind of, I'm like, get up there. I'm going to get a room and like all this like yeah. financial burden. It's mm-hmm. like before it was, it was just like splitting it with someone. Now it's just like. Oh goodness God! You right, know? and then I gotta get him a gift. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Oh, it's it sucks. It's suck. I mean, like I was I'm in the wedding for this, so it was like it sucks you know. until like it's going down. Yeah, yeah, I hope so. This is my first wedding I've ever what? been to. Yeah, You've never been to one. I've never been to. You're already this jaded. You yeah, sound yeah, like yeah. you're in no the Oh, dude, oh, you're I, like, oh, I got a wedding. God damn it, dude. You're supposed to. I'm be, like be three grand. I'm like three grand in the hole for this fucking already. Thing. Yeah. Oh, it's like it's like, like, a, be- it's like a best destination friend. bachelor party, destination wedding, oh, right? The flights, hotels, expenses. Okay, uh, okay. And then the gift on top of it. You know, it's 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 really yeah. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah, you know what? I can see because the last I went to the the few weddings I've been to have all been uh, northeast. There was one in the Bay Area, but we uh, we had a place to stay, so it wasn't that much money lost. Um, but yeah, if you're just going out for the whole week, like if there's no work involved, like going right. out for the whole no place to stay, like. Dude, yeah, that sounds rough, man. Yeah, it's, yeah. It sounds like a World of Series comedy uh, weekend. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you put yourself out. Yeah. Sounds like a regular comedy festival weekend. Get yeah. out of here and get for free. Sure, sure. Yeah, put yeah. yourself out. Put yourself up. Do five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. And listen to this. I'm not trying to get too controversial here, right? Oh, oh but but how else are we going to get Sure, sure. You know so, the algorithm? So his uh, his fiance, okay. one of her bridesmaids, uh, is a gay guy. And Bridesmaid? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, I guess that's... You know, it's like that 2024. Against, that's that's you know. against the definition, though. Yeah, yeah. But technic- I'm just saying, definition wise, that's not right. I guess 2024 How wedding is cool. A, bri- a bride's groom or something. Catholic wedding, probably not. Not going down. Okay, so what kind of wedding is this? So, so no, no, no. So I find. So I was, I wasn't sure if you know this, the ceremony was going to be in a church. So we're each. <laughs> I thought you're. I wasn't sure this is legal. I was no, going to no, no. call. The <laughs> we are. I mean, the wedding is in Florida, so oh, I don't know if it's legal. Oh, <laughs> but anyway, so right, yeah. so. Uh, they, they they like pair each groomsman with a bridesmaid okay. like for like I don't know walking down the aisle or something I I don't know yes right? no yes yeah, what you gotta do yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so they I, it's so funny it's your first one you're just saying I think that's what they yeah do. my buddy yes. yeah. is pairing me with the uh, male bridesmaid and so I was like oh is, oh is this gonna be in a church like personally I don't give a fuck but yeah. I was thinking like you know if I'm in the church with the guy. Am I going to be like looking up at Jesus on the cross, you know, kind of yeah. like avoiding eye contact? Well, it depends know? on what you believe in, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. yeah well, if well, you don't believe that, then it's not. No, but I, everyone else, they may be. <laughs> I don't believe that. But what if Jesus does? Like, wh- what if Jesus, he, he is not going with the times. Right. He's just this staunch conservative, you know? Uh, I, I got to be honest. I think Jesus is probably a little gay, man. You see those abs on him? Man, he's, you know, how yeah. forgiving he is. Right, right. You know, no straight person's. No, no conservative is that forgiving, you mm, know. Yeah, very liberal with the forgiveness. Yeah, you do what you want. Oh, we'll get over that. You know, right, conservatives are right. more like, you know, this is how we do things. Yeah, you know? it depends. I mean, that again depends what kind of Jesus you believe in. You know, that's wild though. So you just gotta take some photos, man. Uh, you are going to be the groomsman, and you're gonna be paired up with a bridesmaid that's a dude yes wow yeah this is this has been done before i'm sure right this is oh yeah 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 i'm sure this is like i don't know this happens all the time now probably oh, so interesting man yeah. imagine if you were a straight guy and then the girl go you're such a best friends with a girl she asked you 
<laughs> the groups, the bridesmaid. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh hey, man, James, you want to be one of the bridesmaids? Oh, oh. <laughs> that would be brutal. Oh, that would be funny. <laughs> so does he? I guess he's just got to put a suit on that matches the dress. That's. I mean, he's got to have his own suit because all the all the dudes dress the same, right? And then the right. girls have dress, whatever color have they're wearing. Them, so they're, he's gonna have to get his own suit. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. That's so cool, man. Interesting, interesting, mm-hmm. interesting. Mm-hmm. There was nothing. Con- I mean, I guess you know what. Nothing we said was controversial. It was just what no, we brought no, up no. was controversial. I don't have a problem with it. Yeah. I was just wondering if Jesus would have a problem with it. But it's not in a church. I don't think. I, it's not know, in a church. You know, Jesus. Ron DeSantis might have a big problem with it. But yeah. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. Well, that sounds like uh, your first time. Wow. What an interesting. Uh, what oh, interesting yeah. 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 Kick yeah. it off. Yeah. Yeah. Ho- hopefully I get laid. Oh, yeah. With my guy. <laughs> <laughs> would you, you yeah. think Karina would be down for a threesome with you and a, another dude? Absolutely not. No. no. See, that's the weird thing about. That's another crazy thing about guys and girls. Like girls, uh, hey, you want to bring another dude into? Oh, no. And then for guys, like girls, like want to bring another girl into this? <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Interesting, right? Yeah. But 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 apparently, women I guess that goes back to you know what are they getting out of it, right? That's probably that's exactly what it is. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what am I getting out? Of? Is this need, guy? They don't need this, an extra dick. Is this other guy tall? Is yeah. This other guy. Right, right, right. Right. All right speak. You know what? Speaking of infidelity, um, perfect segue. Look at that. We're, yeah, we're, we're yeah, already yeah. rocking. Um, I this is perfect for you, and it's so funny you brought this to my attention while um you were here but tom brady who is your fucking uh what who is he to you you're uh darling your your sweetheart it's my guy it's your guy yeah you're one of those guys that is a fan of brady not a fan of the patriots well i guess by proxy when he was playing for him you know was yeah rooting, rooting for the team there uh um, but now you don't now you can oh i have an audition now you can give a shit yeah, no, no, I don't. Uh, yeah, especially with Belichick on now too. There's just it's a completely it's a completely new team, completely new era. Yeah. So, so apparently, Tom Brady has accepted Giselle Bunchton's relationship with jujitsu instructor she allegedly cheated with. Um, but this isn't even the the juice. Well, the juice, so the I, juice I remember, is that yeah, the juice is that he's accepted that he's um that that he cheated. She was sleeping with him while they were still together. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. they saw pictures of them, or they put pictures out of Giselle and the trainer, like, after the divorce, and it was like, all right, whatever. It was after the divorce. Yeah. But then they're saying this was happening it's like, towards it's, the ch- the ending years of the marriage. Well, they were starting to date, like, like it came out that they were dating, like, eight months after the divorce, right? Yeah, it was, it was after the divorce. Yeah. Right. I mean, I guess, technically, you could move on that quick, but here's the thing. Most women, because... Like we said, women only do things that benefit them. Right. I think, and also women are just smarter than men. So it's like Brady's probably like, my marriage is falling apart. I'm playing football, this, that. I'll just play football, get my mind off it. Brr, right? I'm Tom Brady. Giselle's thinking like, this is ending. I got to make sure I have a fallout plan. Women always, like if it's ending, um, unless they're the ones that are getting broken up with, they almost always have like someone or something that they they're falling back to. Like they have someone that, that that's shown in, that they're they're into, and then they think you know. Yeah. 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 But my uh, my my beef with this whole story is yeah. the narrative has been spun like Tom Brady was just a deadbeat dad. He refused to stop playing uh, football. Uh, Giselle was at home with the kids all the time, making oh. fucking apple pie. Not the case at all. She had her own career. No, she's getting screwed. Nannies, by... nannies were yeah. raising those fucking kids. So like, sure. I, I think that that narrative is such bullshit. And what I'm noticing, and she's definitely doing jujitsu. Is <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure, jujitsu with uh, with a lot more going on. What's the guy's on. name? The guy they put his name out here. What is it? Jujitsu with some ground and pound. Joaquin Valentin. That's a fucking beautiful name. The guy's name is Joaquin Valentine. Val- Valente? I don't know. Personally, I think... That's a great name. Personally, I think Tom Brady is a beautiful, a beautiful white name. Um, oh, boy. <laughs> no, but... Uh, I, I don't know how you're going to make it at this wedding. Dude, another thing... I'm, <laughs> yeah, I know. Slap the guy's hand when he tries to grab it. I know. He's a Latino, too. So. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gotta, yeah. Hopefully, he knows jujitsu. Sounds hot. Gay yeah. Latino. This is hot. Um, yeah. yeah. But, uh, oh, another thing I'm noticing, the reactions to the story, um, girls defending Giselle. Like, come on, like, see it from her perspective. Oh. But if it was the other way around and Tom Brady was cheating instantly, piece of shit, fuck Tom Brady. Like, there would be outrage. But uh, 
the women are like defending her. It's it's nonsense. It's, but you know, in I the same light it. as you're saying, like all the dudes being like, well, you know, the dude's got a career, he's working, blah blah blah. It's the same thing with women. Women blindly defend. Dude, I was at the sh- uh, strip yesterday, and I, um, I'm do you know the bits I do about um losing the cats? Yeah. So I go, I'm broken up. Um, I lost my cats in my um divorce, whatever. And the lady in the car goes, yeah, as well you should. I'm like, you don't even, you don't even know me. You don't even know her. He goes, oh, I'm on their side no matter what. I'm like, you, she could be fucking, she could be just Lane Maxwell. What are yeah. you talking about? She goes, yeah. no, I well, it doesn't matter. I believe her. I'm on her side. I'm like, oh my God, you fucking bitch. Like, are you? And she ended up being, and then it was one of those classic heckles where she was like, yeah, I just thought you were funny. I did, did, did. I'm like, okay, listen, like, and if it was personal, if it was like real life, where I'm just, we're not, I'm not on stage and you said that to me, I would, I, if you were a dude, I would want to fight you. Dude. Right, right. Like, like, like that shit was, uh, like, imagine losing custody of your children and you're saying it on stage and someone's like, well, as well you should. It's yeah, like, yeah. Me, so mm-hmm. anyways, but no, like, yeah, um, women tend to defend men, men tend to, like, in, like, I, I, I or you meant women tend to defend women, women defend women, yeah. men defend men. Here's what I think, though. This isn't surprising to me, dude, because Tom Brady is, um, he, dude, I mean, he, 20 years, right? Football is such a demanding sport. Like, you're gone all the time. So, and then he's got kids. So, I'm sure, and then he's a psycho into his craft, which is what you got to do to be great. Right. But I'm sure there's no intimacy in the relationship. It's just like, uh, he, he can't take a chill pill, right? He's uh, always working, um, obsessive. Uh, competitive, you know, like women, like kind of like, I don't know. I, I was very competitive and my last girlfriend thought, um, I was like too crazy, you know, like about mm. losing and shit, but it's just weird. It's like, this doesn't surprise me. That's someone that's this great. That's like pouring himself into this craft like this. His marriage didn't work out. It doesn't surprise me. And like, dude, Giselle makes a lot of money, you know, yeah. it also doesn't matter who everyone's like, here, here's what I'm seeing. All these men are, this is what the dudes are saying. Um, you know, nobody's safe. It doesn't matter right. who if you TV are. If TV 12 can get cheated on, your ass has no chance. You right. can be Tom Brady, still going to get cheated. Bro, everyone gets used to everything. If you're, if I'm dating Giselle Bunchen, right, you know, I'm going to get used to her, right? You start, right. Or you just start living with them. Their mannerisms, things piss you off. So it's like everyone gets used to everyone, man. Sure, you know? sure. Yeah. It's that old saying. It's like uh, with every hot girl, there's a guy that's tired of banging her. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. So it's um, I don't know, but she looks really good in this uh, photo of them. Does she? Uh, with the with the jujitsu guy. I don't know. You don't think she looks hot? Look at her. I, don't know. Look, I mean, she looks. I used to be a, like a big Giselle defender. People would always be like, uh, like, like Patriots haters would always be like, yeah. oh, she looks like a fucking man. I'd be like, shut up, she's beautiful. No, she doesn't. Look now like I don't care. Now that she she did my guy wrong. This is Giselle. Wild. Giselle, she's famous for being the only Brazilian without an ass. So, oh, 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 wow, you're you're one of these blind defenders. Yeah, dude. Wow. <laughs> Watch it come out. Tom Brady just had whores like just lined up. Was but like, you, but also just uh, the fact that he's so like. Uh, famous you know like so big like that mm. would probably make the sex so much more hotter it's like oh, i'm cheating on she, tom brady she's you know? so she's so famous though like in in her own the room, southern sure. hemisphere i'm sure i'm t- like she's, for the dude he's probably like holy shit man like i'm fucking yeah tom brady's wife right right yeah, yeah. i don't yeah no, it doesn't matter how many rings you have <laughs> yeah no no i mean like him he's probably just trying to bang every girl that comes to his class it's like the the sketchy like personal trainer they're just always like they're known for being like the horniest like dudes so right. he, he he's like sure. he's also seeing the money bags with this he's like if i can lock this down right i it, won't need to teach jujitsu to to fat guys anymore it is I can, weird though he goes um tom brady is trying to find the good in the relationship it's like dude this guy's like one of the most competitive people we've ever ever to walk this earth like michael jordan level shit I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find the good in the new relationship. Yeah, like, that's that, talking about. That's publicist talk. Of though. course. Yeah, yeah. Oh Jesus, I still feel bad, man. You know, but yeah. So uh, speaking of cheaters, man, I I read, th- I saw this recently. I want to read this to you. So a guy, a cheating. This guy. Um, here, let me just read the article. It says, "Cheating wife won't get another chance." Husband announces in viral post, "I want to leave her." So apparently this uh, this guy got cheated on. He puts it on social media, kind of asking 
Twitter, which is not a great place to ask people's uh, life advice, yeah. what he should do. So, oh, it's Reddit. He put it on Reddit. Mm. Am I wrong for not giving my cheating wife another chance? That's a much better platform for questions. Oh, so much better. <laughs> just, I mean, if you have if you have issues, go on Reddit. Get it from strangers. Right. Um, nothing is more. You know, you you always can trust. Uh, hip hip hoc nine one 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 for advice. You know. Mm-hmm. So it says here, me thirty nine m. Oh, 39 male. Well, thanks for giving us your uh, gender. Um, and my wife, 33F. Isn't that weird? No one does that, right? Do people do that? These On days? Reddit, they do. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't it's know a, if there's it's a, a thing. It's thing. a weird way of, yeah, they identify okay. themselves, yeah. So me, 39M, and my wife, 33F, have been together for 13 years. She recently went away on a girl's trip. I was not worried at all. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Where was the trip? Um, doesn't. Oh, she was going to the Boltons. Half an hour away. What's the Butlins? It wasn't far, apparently. Do you so, know where the Butlins is, though? It's apparently, it was an hour, half an hour away. So, oh, she, no, 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 it wasn't even a trip. Wait, hold on. Let me let me just read it. So, I have never had a reason to distrust her. She has never done anything to give me cause for concern, and it's not like she was even going abroad. Okay, she was going to Butlins, half an hour away. For God's sake, maybe that's like a bar or something in the town. But this is half an hour away. She went with her sister and a few other girls. She called me up this morning. I didn't expect anything other than her checking in. She's only been away one night of a three-night trip. When I answered, she was crying and incoherent. When I finally calmed her down, she told me she had slept with someone the night before. Supposedly, she met a guy who she approached. They flirted a little and danced together. And she thought that at, that was as far as it was going to go. But he supposedly just charmed her into a kiss, which turned to making out which turned to her asking him to walk her back to the hotel, which turned into them having sex. She says nothing was amiss. He wasn't uh, pushy or weird, and they actually had sex multiple times. (laughs) She had about, there were probably about 30 instances in that story where she could have said no and and like gotten out. I I just love how she breaks the news to him. She goes, I just want to let you know he wasn't pushy, he wasn't weird, and we had sex multiple times. Yeah, I had the time of my life. Yeah. She said they needed she, she because she would say they needed to stop and he would stop immediately and then after a few minutes she'd want him to carry out and he would. Man, and he was supposedly never even finished because of stop starting. This supposedly went on for 3 hours and she eventually said stop for good and asked him to leave. Oh, three only did. 3 hours? Ah, oh, that's fine. God, she didn't really is, she didn't really these cheat. These details are horrible, dude. This guy is 10 years younger than her, supposedly, and she lied and told him she was going to a divorce. The guy was 23? Ah, oh, this is some, like... And she's... she lied. She told him that she was... She told him she was going through a divorce. Ah. Oh. She says she doesn't know what came over her, and she just wanted to see if she still had it, but got carried away. 14 years, married for 10. We have a 7-year-old daughter. I want to leave her. She's begging me not to. Offering marriage counseling, never going out again, never drinking again. I've always been a one-chance sort of guy. I just told her to go fuck herself and have been ignoring her since about 10 a.m. Do they have kids? 10 a.m.? Yeah, she had, they have a seven-year-old daughter. Ah. Oh. Been ignoring since 10 a.m. This is so. This is fresh off the presses. Um, now her friends and sister are calling me, too. They apparently had no idea she'd even gone home with them. They saw them talking, but nothing. I uh, thought nothing of it. I just want them to leave me alone. I told my mom about it. And, um, M-U-M about it and she said i th- i should think about my family and then my wife seems genuinely remorseful and didn't want to hide anything and came clean right away it's not like she had an affair that's what mom said and that is bad and it's the best case scenario after the conversation i feel like i'm insane am i wrong for not even considering forgiving her to talk about woman supporting woman blindly her even his mom is like yeah come on baby it's right. all good right wow mm. um god Think and his, all the friends. Think and, his think his mom was a whore too. Oh man, he called her mom. You know, <laughs> are they British? I don't know. I don't know where this takes place. They I don't say know. Like, in it's England just, they say mom. Yeah, so uh, maybe he maybe. Um, I love how this is brutal, dude. I mean, what are your friends saying? He didn't mention about his friends. It's all just like her friends, her uh, her his mom. Telling him that it's Guarant- not a big deal. Guarantee, if he has any guy friends, all of them are like, get get, get out of that. Well, yeah. I mean, I don't know, but it's just like... 
The seven year old kid thing is the only thing yes. to think about. That's the only that's the toughest thing. But dude, honestly, man, it's like this whole thing of like um there's gotta be some repercussion. Like this can't be one of those like let's say he does take her back and like it's like they try to carry on, you know, and there's a little bit like there has to be something where like he has to leave for like a week or maybe a month. Like he needs to like re a fucking cess. Sure. Also, like this shit of like like you do I mean like the details are so fucking... Well, it, well, so, it's not like... You know... Look, look, listen. We've all been in the, a situation... Actually, I don't know. We've all been there. I don't think I've ever been in one, but it's like... um, Whatever. Like, you've heard situations like that where it's like... Guy, his girlfriend, they're upset. She goes out. Maybe kisses a guy. Makes out again. And they're like, oh, I can't. And they run away and they maybe tell them, right? But this is a complete different story, man. Like you said, there's so many chances to like end it. Yeah, three hours of of uh, uh, pulling in, pulling out. Mm-hmm. Like, goddamn. Mm-hmm. No, even that, the drive to the hotel, the fucking at the bar, all she that. Invited him. She all lied. that time. She, said she was divorced. Yeah, yeah. No, the, the lie too. Like yeah. it was, it was very, uh, it was very deliberate. This was not a uh, oh, it accident accidentally fell in. You know, it, it, this was, uh, this was all the way through there. And uh, yeah, wow. It is interesting because he goes, never had a chance to distrust her. Never do. The moments, you know, I hear that all the time. Like, then you're an idiot. If 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 this happened and you were like, I never saw it coming, then you're you're there's something wrong with you. Yeah. Well, what this tells me is yeah. she said the guy was ten years younger than him or ten years younger than her. Her, her. So twenty three years old this kid was. The guy's probably uh She this to me screams like a woman's a woman's version of midlife crisis. Like she's like, Okay, like I'm losing all of my attractiveness by the day. Um, you know, the kids thing, I'm not going to be pumping out anymore. Like she's wa- she's approaching the end of her career the same way, like guys act out when they're like, you know, turning 50, right? Sure. That's when they're kind of like, you know, all that is going away. But so, do you think that, you know, I, I understand what you're saying and it's totally valid, but like, do you think that if the dude, and I'm not victim blaming, or I'm not doing anything, I'm not blaming anyone, but it's like, you think if she, if her husband made her feel sexy and hot, you think that's enough? Like, or in any re- in any yeah. relationship? Do you okay. think it's in, like even with, like, let's say with uh, your girlfriend? It's like if you don't make her feel hot. Um, no, 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 no. What am I? What am I trying to say here? It's like uh, as long as you make her feel hot and wanted, why does she need that from anyone else? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I think there's two sides to that though. Yeah. Like in this instance, it's like. He could have been doing a better job of that, but at the same time, it's like they've been together so long. Maybe she's like not as attracted to him as she used to be, no matter kind of what he does. Yeah, you know. And then it's like no matter how much she compliments her and fucking wants her, she's like it's not the same as being wanted by like some young dude. You know. But that's so fucking funny because young dudes are idiots. We're just fucking cool because they're, they're just they're just attractive. No, oh, it's like it's, remi- it's reminding her of her like youth. Yeah. Where, you know, like young horny dudes were going for her, you know, probably probably didn't didn't think that was happening anymore. Right. So when it does, it's like, oh, I still I still got it. Yeah, I'm not defending her, by the way. No, 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 Deplorable no. fucking disgusting behavior. Yeah. However, I'm the, the psychology of it. I think it's that, you know, I guess, man. But here's a sad thing, dude. Like the fact the fact that he's he typed this up. He's on Reddit. He's asking like the public or, or people that he doesn't know what he should do. That already gives me the answer that he's thinking about staying with her. Yeah. Like, if you were helping, it also bent- gives the answer that I mean, there's something wrong with him. Like, who the fuck would do this? Yeah, this is insane. Yeah, this is. He kinda, obviously doesn't have any guy friends. This is kind of cuck behavior. Like, oh, honestly. Yeah, and maybe it is cuck behavior. If maybe he takes a little her back. bit. Maybe maybe he's into that. You know what I mean? I love I, how he goes. I don't know. This is so funny. He goes. This is this is the best part. I've always been a one chance sort of guy. If you are, then shut the fuck up. Right. Take right. You, just, then leave her. This post would not have happened. Right. If you were a He's one thinking about saying because, dude, I've been in there. You know, I listen. You know, I'm going through my breakup. Um, all this like, and, and now I look back at all the times I've been like, oh, maybe, uh, maybe should uh, should. If you're thinking shit, there's always that. The door is always open. Until you close it, that you, there's no gumption in anything you're saying. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah. That, that wasn't really clear what I said. But what I'm trying to say is like, like when my like my my therapist once was like blocker blocker, and I'm like, ah, you never know, <laughs> right? Mm. I'm like, oh, don't, that's I'll, I'll, here's what I would say. I'd be like, uh, oh, I don't need to do that. What if she needs to contact me? And it's like, if I was really like I'm done with her, I would block her. But there's still a part of me that's like, 
I yeah. won't block it. Oh, still, yeah, the, for sure. It, you know, so... For sure. So if, you, if oh. he's leaving it up to debate like this... You want to talk about, like, lame things, like, you've done after a breakup? And the, the, yeah. Or just, like, lame thoughts? Like, yeah. I remember... Like, go, back, go back and play another like, season Like, like college, college breakup, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you know, walking through campus, like, hoping, like, you know, she, like, saw me doing something, like, cool or whatever. Yeah. Fucking just disgusting. You're just, uh. you're just spinning a, a, a basketball on your finger and she's yeah, like, Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. no. It's, it's like what I would do when I was, like, in fifth grade, like, walking around my neighborhood with, like, a girl, like, I went to school with, like, in there, like, dribbling a basketball, like, past her house you know yeah. like oh dude she's gonna see these fucking handles yeah <laughs> like no <laughs> nah dude i mean it's inescapable but like you know when you go through something like that a lot of what you do is based on like you know i'm gonna show them you know i mean look i'm a good example man we broke up i start fucking working out like an animal i start uh you know uh you know whatever posting whatever the bullshit uh, I, a lot of it had to do with like i hope she fucking sees what she's oh out yeah on. for sure and for sure it's just inescapable man and it's not until you 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 start doing things that aren't for that reason they're either either for someone else or for you or just yeah you're not really totally over but everyone does that man everyone like subconsciously just is hoping like uh you know i hope she sees this or dude even my this apartment when i got this apartment you know like she never saw the place. Mm-hmm. Like I remember, I was like, "Oh, maybe I should take pictures in front of the washer dryer," you know, post it, <laughs> you know, just accidentally. So she, <laughs> but you know, uh, man, oh, we're getting worked. We should, you know, next time I, I love to have women on and get their opinion, but they always cancel on me. What the, <laughs> they're just, I'm just not worth doing doing. You know. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they're very plan oriented too. You know. They're very smart, man. I mean, like, you know how many times I'm like, I wish I could get out of this. Women don't have that problem. They're like, oh, I'm getting out of this. Um. All right. I know some with- women though that are with some fucking like in some bad relationships that they're just in denial about it. Well, in their there mind, are some clueless but, like dumb girls but, out there. Like, but in their mind, they're clueless. In their mind, they think they're that it's worth it being in there. There's, yeah, there's, they're getting but something out. I, of I, it, I do think you know? like like you know there are some where they they do know something's wrong. But, you know, I don't know. They they have a different, uh, they justify it differently. Yeah. But I think there are instances where they're just with like an a- pure, like, asshole of a guy. You but know? they, but I think they'll stay with an asshole. With, yeah. But they won't stay with like a weak fucking, like, cock. It's, you know? it's the moment they lose respect for you. That's when they fucking, they're done with you. Like, yeah. if they don't respect, like, that's why you can be an asshole. You can treat them like garbage, which you shouldn't. But if they think they need you, they, they think they need you somehow. The moment they look, they 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 can figure out the way to live without you, or like, you know, a lot of times that has to do with financial things. It could be emotional support, right? Yeah. I'm the only one that blah 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 blah, you know, fucking bitch, you know. And then they're like, oh, he's the only one. And it's like, but there's once whatever your purpose is to them is gone, they gonna walk right out that motherfucking door, and they'll fuck someone ten years younger than them. All right, let's talk about this. Um, I'm not sure you want to talk about this, but I'm going to talk about it with you anyway. But multiracial communities, mm. apparently, we've got to put an end to them. Is that yeah, what you're saying? Yeah, we should kill ourselves. Yes. Um, <laughs> multiracial communities. Uh, what's the headline here? I'm trying to find. Um, uh, let me see if I can find a. Let me see this Washington Post article. Mixed race teens prone to. Depression. Apparently, a study finds higher rate of stress-related health problems. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't read this post without putting in my email. Shit. <laughs> God fucking damn. Dude, this is the, this is the state of journalism right now. Um, all right, well. No, it's weird they do that, you know? No, they do. They, they, they should be they, grateful for every fucking person that reads their, their outdated fucking source of media. Hey, man, you, if you're good at anything, you don't do it for free. That's what they say. <laughs> um, let me see here. Basically, what I'm trying to say is um, what I found. Okay, here we go. Two or more races. Oh, shit. Okay. What is rising is the number of mental health conditions in multiracial communities. Two or more races are most likely to report a mental health illness in a given year. And the percentage of people with mental illness identifying as multiracial is, you want to guess on what percent of uh, people that say they have mental, mental health illness are multiracial? This is people who, who they say they have a mental okay, illness. Okay. What's um, the percent that's multiracial? Uh, 
Nineteen percent. Ooh. Twenty-five. Okay. Twenty-five percent. Not too bad. Hey, that's, that's all right. Not too bad. Of the individuals who live in, with mental health conditions, twenty-five identify as two or more races. And um, geez, that's one fourth of the. That's a fucking lot, dude. And There's, then how many people? We in had the, two more multiracial many, guys here. One of them, one of us, would be depressed. And then I guess how many people are not mixed race? Like, what's our percentage? What's our uh, yeah? What's our percentage in like the entire populace? Um, let's let's Google that. Because um, if we're if we're like only like if we only take up three percent of the world and we're twenty five percent of that, that's insane statistic. Oh. That's really bad. well. It's not going to be a huge percent. Um, in twenty twenty, great year. United States Census: thirty three point eight million individuals are ten point two percent of the population self identify as multiracial. Okay, so let's self identify. Let's take that down to four percent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I had a twenty three in me. So that's not. That's still bad. Dude. That's that's really bad. That's actually. for twenty five of of yeah yeah. That's bad. It's very bad. Um, and they say a lot of the issues are. We're gonna put a suicide hotline on the <laughs> on the screen behind us no, here. We don't, during we don't the want podcast. Those, we don't want those people to get help. Right, um, right. <laughs> just deal with it, pussy. Yep. Um, oh, Darwinism. Boy, Come on, just, that's gonna get me fired. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but it says um, the patient's identity. The emotional imp- this okay so a therapist or a clinician who demonstrates cultural competency or at least humility and openness to engage in discussions about racial and ethnic identity and considers the social and emotional impact of the patient's identity identity will make a big difference in the quality of treatment okay did you oh, this is this did is you up. understand a word of that no I read the wrong thing <laughs> I read the the ways to I'm trying to find okay here we go here we go that brought me back to school I was like shit yeah oh boy I'm gonna fail this one um. Okay, while not a mental health diagnosis, many people of multiracial heritage also experience imposter syndrome, feelings of self-doubt, and personal crisis in relation to how they identify themselves. These feelings may come from internal reflection, but they are often perpetuated by the negative reactions, attitudes, and perceptions of them by others. Discrimination, prejudice, exclusion, and microaggressions against multiracial populations Many of whom have traced their heritage back to colonialism or slavery have serious impacts on their mental health. Okay, mm. well, that, I don't know about that last part for me. Yeah, um, I think that's more for, uh, for black, like half black, half people. black people. Yeah, yeah. but I, I don't know. Do you feel that way? Because I would say, um, it would be pretty dope to be one race, like white, black, whatever, and then you just come completely immerse yourself with a group of people. But for mixed race people, it is. I don't really feel like I can go to a you know Chinatown and be totally welcomed. I don't feel like I can go to the Puerto Rico. Should I say Chinatown? Fucking yeah. Jesus. Um, <laughs> I, I, you know what I'm talking. I can't. I don't feel like if I would be accepted in a group of Chinese people. Yeah. Like a normal Chinese person was. Sure. I don't feel like if I go to a bunch of Puerto Ricans, I would feel as uh, welcomed as a full Puerto Rican. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel definitely. that? Do you feel in the, that kind of suck? Like, I would. I would be interested to know what that's like. Mm-hmm. You get dropped off in any part of the world. If you're one race, oh, I'll go to the white people here. You know? I think about I think about prison a lot. Oh, all the time. Yeah, I used to have a where, bit about it. Where it would I worked, go? Yeah, but, no, no, same. Yeah, <laughs> I think yeah. every mixed race. Wait, what race would I join? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apparently, I looked it up on Reddit. There's a mixed race one. There's a there's an others. Oh yeah, and others. They, they call them the and others. others yeah, cake? and others. Yeah. <laughs> what do they call them? Are these? Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's just like you can join whites, blacks, uh, Latinos, or others that's that's got to be uh 10 of the prison population yeah. that's not that's not good in wars yeah yeah you know? no way small no lunch way. table now the, yeah the yeah cafeteria right right yeah I, d- I have heard though um asian prisoners are like very feared because for you for an asian guy to be in prison it's usually not for like petty crimes or like selling weed it's either for well i guess white collar crime not as scary or it's for something serious like you fucking murdered somebody but uh, yeah, I don't. I I read one thing recently about a guy who like tried to uh, bury his uh, his wife <laughs> alive. Is, yeah, and she got out. He's a fucking idiot. He's in jail. <laughs> but like, yeah, it does seem like because you hear about like um, you hear about like the triads, like the Asian games, yeah, like, yeah. when they torture someone, it's like balls, like the balls, the, the dick, like they yeah. always go for that yeah. kind of stuff. It's never like uh, yeah, we broke his legs. It's like yeah, we just severed his. <laughs> Sure, you know? sure. They, yeah. they always seem to go a little bit too, a little harder. And I think it punish. might be to like because they don't have the numbers. They're like they have to be more vicious. Yeah, you know, than than maybe some of these like traditional gangs. Yeah, yeah. 
But well, anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> Back to this. Yeah. I do um, I do feel that because um no, I mean like even when I go to dude, even when I go to Asian comedy festivals, I'm like Oh. I feel I you feel, feel like the token not even token, you feel like the uh what is it? Imposter syndrome. Yeah, I yeah. feel like I feel like the white guy. Yeah. God damn it! If you really think about how that can manifest in other parts of life, yeah. if you literally think you're going, to, you're you're chosen, be in our Asian festival, and you feel like a fucking imposter, or if you go to whatever uh, an Irish gathering, like oh, yeah, fucking Asian. no, no, no. Anytime I go to white gatherings, like like, yeah. and I'm talking like like really really white gatherings, right? I feel like I'm like they they all are thinking like who's this little chink that's but that, here you know oh, yeah you know yeah. No, no 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 them not yeah. not me you know just, what I mean that was a Shane Gillis side that said yeah <laughs> no, no 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 great but, great monologue by the way uh, yeah. I, I don't understand all these people he bombed what are you talking about yeah yeah can't yeah. hear less right yeah. right um, no 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 I'm saying I, I don't know I I do feel that though with like these like if I'm in like if I'm in like the, not that I have a house there or anything but if I am in like the Hamptons or something you know like just these ultra white places yeah I I, I feel more Asian yeah it's weird though big because uh, I still feel like you got some Asian come coming out of you but there are some half white half Asian guys that like they get they just become so white mm-hmm. where you do feel like oh you're just a white guy now. Right, I feel that way white, though. You what, that you that you're white. You're white. Yeah, yeah. I feel very white, except when I'm in the ultra white uh, uh, settings. If yeah. I'm just in kind of a normal setting, I'm you're like, a, ah, I'm a white you guy. You don't come across as privileged though. Mm. You have to have like a real like pr- a privileged aura to like pull it off. I feel like. I think, but this is you're contributes more to the and... imposter syndrome because, like, you're saying this, but then I know there's, you know, there's like girls and crowds who go, "Look at this Connecticut-looking motherfucker." No, here. you're right. You know? you're right. So, yeah, it's easy for me to say it on the outside, but I don't know how people are feeling on the inside. Yeah, no, no. I mean, it's yeah. all over the place. Like, I, I have a bit about it. Like, different people think I'm a different thing. Right. Like, I feel like black people go, "Oh, you Asian motherfucker." <laughs> you know, right, like, right. Right. So I don't know. I That's totally cool. But like, it, it think about him, like, because. Anytime I have some modicum of success, I always do feel like, you know, like, well, I don't really belong here. But but that that like that feeling, I mean, life's all about um, learned behavior. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you feel like you don't belong your whole life, then even if it's non um, Asian related shit or non cultural related shit, you might still feel that way. Yeah. And that could be really a bummer because like um, I think we all want to feel like we have a purpose and we have like uh, uh, people that care about us and like like a. Uh, uh, somewhere to fit in. Mm-hmm. And if you don't have that, I could see why people would get all these uh, horrible feelings. You I know? also think too, it's always like all the groups, right? It's all like you know, or debates. It's like white people, black people. Yes, yes. you know, they, 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 there's never Social, really discussion yeah. around mixed race, which will probably change because I think the mixed race population is only going to go up. You know, and people, it's it, it is you know they're talking about this whole unless thing we all like, unless we all kill ourselves. I mean. <laughs> One out, of, one out of every four. We're losing. We're losing a quarter of us. We're losing day. them as much as we're gaining them. I guess. Funny if I went happening. to a, if I went to get some antidepressants. Like, I'll I'll be honest. I have I have sometimes I I have my bouts of depression. But um, I mean, there's a lot of things going on. Do you right now or, that, or do you ever take? No, 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 no. Okay. I go to therapy. I thought about it, but it'd be funny if I went to therapy. Like I went to a psychiatrist trying to get it. And he's like, so tell me. I'm like a mixed race. He goes, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's, yeah, yeah. he's like, spot. he's like, yeah. Aha, yeah. we found it. Yeah. Um. But, the, you know, I'll say this. This whole discrimination, prejudice, exclusion, microaggressions, I've never really gotten that. I think it's like, uh, um, I mean, especially now, I think it's definitely, it, it is almost cool. But being cool doesn't necessarily mean you, you feel like you're included, you know? Like if someone's like, like Tom Brady, for example. Tom Brady's, this is actually kind of an interesting case, I'm going to say. Tom Brady, seven rings, greatest of all time. I mean, 10, what, Super Bowl appearances? No one's even close to that. Mm-hmm. Imagine if like they're ever like not to say it's lonely at the top, but imagine if everyone's kind of grouped by like the number of Super Bowls they had. If you think about it, just because he's great, he still would be alone. You know? It's a different kind of example, but it's like just cause you're you're um just because people think like, oh, your mixed race that's so cool, or this or that. Doesn't necessarily mean that's not going to train. Like no, no, I, like I know the. I, I know it's not a great. I get the it's not idea. A great, uh, connect, I'm not connecting. The I dots get the here. idea. It's yeah. not the example. It's not, the it's example not, is it's not horrible. Solid. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> it, was, it, it needs work. <laughs> I was throwing it out. I think Tom Brady's very happy that he's in a grouping by himself. Yeah, with yeah, yeah. With, with the amount of race, but but, but he might get lonely. He might not have anyone to talk to. No, no, no. To, I, you know? I know what you mean about this. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, I think. 
fuck. Now I'm forgetting what I was gonna say. Well, uh, let's try to let's try to um, help. Like, what if there's? Because listen, um, I have a mixed race following, and um, you know what's funny? I posted a when I posted our last clip from the last episode. Um, people are so stupid, but uh, people get excited. You know, mm-hmm. the people halfies love halfies. But how can? Well, what do you think? I do get excited when I see one. I'm like, oh. You, <laughs> you're me. Yeah, yeah, but different. I, I, I always pick them out when I'm on stage, and it derails everything. Yeah. People are like, "Why?" Are you? I'm just like, I had to. I had but even to do that, it. but even that connection doesn't feel uh, great either. You know, no, it feels solid. No, no, no. no. It's yeah. like you get excited, but then it's not like, it's like uh, you're a freak too. It's not like we're together kind of a thing. No, you know what I mean? No, no. It's like it's like a black comic performing in front of all white people except for like one or two black people. There, oh, it's like, right. hey, there we are, and they come after. Like, yeah. You're black. I love you. Right, like, right. Ah. See, mixed race guys kind of like, oh hey, and then it's like, eh, we don't go anywhere from here. Like that might be more of a dude thing because, um, I think it's more of a dude because a lot of the happy girls they do go out of their way to like uh, connect and follow and like. You yeah, know. I also think part of the problem is too is it's only um you, like mixed race can be so so different, right? So it's like me seeing a half black guy. I'm not gonna be like, hey, mixed race, we're in this together. Like, we're completely different. I, that's the thing, yeah. yeah. So we go from ten percent, we narrow it down even even further. Half Asian, to like, the actual people. Man, it must be great to be white. You just go outside. Ah, oh, everyone's here. Yeah, all my yeah. people are here. Sure, God, sure. It's gotta feel good. Imagine we walked. I mean, I guess you could just move to Seattle. You go out, it's all half Asians everywhere. Yeah, you know? I've rationalized it though. I think there's two ways that that people go about it. Some rationalize it as this is horrible. I'm different from everyone else, and then some people rationalize it as like oh i'm cool i like being different than everyone else no for sure so i've like i've gone to that i'm like oh i'm so glad i would hate to be in this like herd of of white you know white sheep yeah right? that's but, but way that's just it, like yeah. that's just my mental kind of way of dealing with it i will acknowledge though like growing up i got made fun of it made fun of for it a lot more than i got like praise for being cool for it yeah i'd say now people say it's more cool than i get shit for it so I, it's, I think as it's an adult, it's been better. I think um, I would think like even uh, definitely for like 20, 30 years ago, if you were mixed race, I mean, people were almost like your mom's a whore. Like people were like like you like because they wouldn't like keep it in the same race. Yeah. People had that dumb mentality. What, now I, get, it's what like, I get a lot is yeah. uh, is like, did your dad fight in a war? Yeah. Well, that's you know, for was, sure, he, was he was Korean? Yeah, yeah, was he was he overseas somewhere? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh God, yeah. Jesus, what an antiquated, not antiquated, yeah. but like you could tell old someone is if they if that's if that's where they go. You yeah. Know? No, I was on stage. I was like, ah, my mom's this, dad's this, and yeah. then fucking like, this old woman yells out. There's a show in Rockway. Yeah. Uh, and it was like, Whoa. oh, so you're a military brat? And I was oh, like, no, God. I am not. Rockaway. <laughs> Dude, sometimes yeah. dude, it's so funny because I was just in um the Midwest this weekend. I do some show, and this happens a lot when uh this isn't the Midwest, but it's Midwest, even like South Jersey. Um, you know, shows go well, and then you have people coming up after you saying, you know, singing your praises, and then you get the few people like, man, for for pretty funny for a Chinese guy, right? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. pretty funny like, for a Chinaman. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I have for um, one of those Orientals, those jokes weren't too bad. Funniest Jackie Chan I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Um, but yeah, it's and then they have no idea they're like, yeah, yeah. being hor- hor- and right, I right. don't even get too. I mean. It's, triggering because we live in new york and sure, like, if you do sure. that in new york people will you know start beating you up right so right i don't like, mind yeah yeah no no i don't mind the completely like sh- uh only around white people all the time completely clueless like yeah. racists like i don't <laughs> i honestly i kind of find it funny no it's, it's cute almost yeah. it's it's so it's like uh yeah it's like a baby yeah almost. yeah anyways um but yeah well i don't know what we could do to um help change it yeah was, I, I noticed that one in ten americans listen um, guys I guess for the half just Asians accept, out there. You have a good mentality, though. It will get better, okay? You're going to go from everybody, all the kids doing the squinty eyes at you, making fun of you, okay? <laughs> you're going to get older, and then girls are going to be like, oh, shit, you're exotic. And also, the Asian girls will kind of see you as like, you're like the light-skinned black dude of Asians. That's kind of the way I've seen it. So it's like, you're Asian enough to bring home, but white enough for them to like be really attracted yeah, to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but you um, you remind me when I was um single because I had short hair, okay, and I I, I, I don't want to go as far by, as say in look, 
And look, well, I had short hair and I was mixed race. Not, be- not behavior. Not behavior. No, <laughs> well, I almost, I almost ended your career there. Um, but um, I mean, it was uh, girls do uh, do dig it. The the half yeah yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. They're for really sure. into it. I don't think I come across as uh, as half Asian as I did before. Maybe or I'm just in my own fucking. Do I still look with the long hair? Do I st- or do I look more well, as opposed to what? Not, not you definitely half. don't look full okay. Puerto Rican. I'm just in my head. Yeah, yeah. But now, I, all right, whatever. It doesn't matter. All right. What is this? Okay. Um, man, that was a uh, at least to me. You know, that's the thing. Oh, you know, you your, never know. Your, your opinion is the only thing that matters. <laughs> um. All right. Let's ask some fan mail together. Um. No, we'll wrap up here. Do people get silly or do they get do they get serious? People get pretty people get silly and serious. Mostly serious. Um. I feel like this is a question. This one I think is probably better for just myself. Uh, here's one: What do you wish there was a reality TV show of? For example, I'd love to see the behind the scenes of how infomercials are made of the writing room of Kids Bop, or like the reverse Bachelor Bachelorette, where they're trying not to get chosen without hurting the main person's feelings, but to make it fair, the Bachelor's also not into them. Um, so yeah, what do you wish? That we could see like a behind the scenes, like if you're a fly in the wall, I guess. First off, the infomercials reality TV idea sucks. That would never <laughs> that would never work. So they have a name here. <laughs> no, um, I don't want to be mean. Wait, um, I, info. Well, she says the infomercials for oh, and right, she's yeah, two separate ideas. Bob. Yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, a, even that kids' bot that doesn't sound too uh, behind the scenes of how infomercials get made. It's like it's just a bunch of like older white people, right? Uh, no, a, a behind the scenes of how. Oh, that's interesting. Infomercials of how the writing room of Kids Bop. I mean, you know how that is. They just look. Oh, what's what's trending? Yeah. Are there any yeah. curses in this song? Let's put that on Kids Bop. Yeah. You know. Okay. Or I guess they mean when they actually shoot the music videos when the kids are running around. I don't know. Aren't infomercials like, hey, we have gold coins? She's fascinated in some aspect that we don't understand. Okay. Because we're not really understanding what's fascinating about I infomercials guess, of uh, Kids Bop. I guess we'll go to actually. our. Okay, she wants to know what reality TV would we like to, yeah, to, make, a reality to, to make? TV show, yeah. I'm not big in the reality TV, though. Oh, I got one. I okay. got one. It's perfect. It's topical. Yes. Right? So Love on the Spectrum is going off. Everyone's watching it. You know, people won't stop talking about it. What if you did a Bachelor version or Bachelorette version, Love on the Spectrum edition? They're all autistic. Oh. So you just have one you know, adorable autistic guy mm. or gal. And then, so they're all autistic, or all, is it just the guys autistic? Or no, the no, they're all they're all autistic. It's all it's autism's like, in. It's like the yeah. Special Olympics. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Ooh. And you know, there's a chance at the end of the show, no one ends up with anybody because you know they're they're a little bit more awkward. You know what I feel? You know what makes me sad is when I see someone with uh on the spectrum or whatever, and like they're with their like parent mm-hmm. holding their hand, you know, which is great. Like, like that's beautiful. That you know. The mom, dad takes care of them. Like I think, it's, but the, the the part of me that also goes like, that guy's like never gonna like get married, or get laid. You know, like it's just like who like oh like that, that they're never gonna find love. I mean, they could. I'm not saying they can't. It's, but it's like you kind of feel that like man, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that gets no, really I down. mean, <laughs> it, no, no, no. I mean, it's it's I, I'm it, terrified. <laughs> it certainly it, it certainly is sucks for them. Yeah, it's not a it's not as it's not great. It's but but the, I would say being on the spectrum is not as good as not being on the spectrum. But the reverse <laughs> is that their life is just like butterfly. Woo! It's like for us, it's like butterfly. Uh, you know, butterfly effect. Life sucks. You know, the the because no, the more yeah. the more you know, the more you can process the the you know. The, the, the more I think it also depends yeah. depends on the kind y- y- you've got there. Those kinds, no, no, like autism versus Down syndrome. Oh, sure, sure. Down sure. syndrome, they seem, they see. I mean, this is like Shane Gills talking about this, but oh, they yeah? seem, they seem very, they seem very happy. Oh, know? he has a bit about that, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, didn't he do that on SNL? Uh, he has something about his. He said he retard. Talk, on he there. talks a lot about the the folks on he's the got, spectrum. Yeah. Well, dude, he's got. It's so funny because if people if people get upset about that, he's like, I think he said his. Uh, I don't Do- think anybody his was really. His sister was autistic or something. Or? I don't think anybody was really upset about uh, his set. Like anytime I see like backlash from SNL monologues, it's just like, it's just fake engagement. Like it's people will yeah. write it just to say, but no one's actually mad. No, it's like, funny because you almost want to tell the people that do that. It's like you know these execs. Yeah, and then he, they, they think you're sh- they think yeah. you're literally sheep. But then Shane Gillis fans 
want there to be backlash from the lame people so they can defend it. You know what I mean? It's people like want to fight. Bro, so I'm noticing with the Shane Gillis that, monologue, yeah. they're zooming in on that woman, that redhead in the band. That she's and they're laughing. like, look how fucking mad she is. She's not laughing. You don't even know that. You don't even know that she's mad. Did she come out and say she yeah. was mad? Like, it's kind of annoying. That part is a little bit annoying to me that people just want. They're contributing to the problem of this outrage shit. They're like, look, yeah. she's fucking triggered. We're behind Shane. It's like, yeah, she never said that. But, dude, this is how this is how you become successful this day and age. It's not really about when people talk about content. It's not about like, what do you have to say? It's about. Can you get people fucking riled up? Like, yeah. Can you get people to talk? Can you get people to share? Yeah. Same thing with Shane. It's like he's right. controversial. I'm not questioning are... his content. No, no, no. I'm, no, no, I'm, I'm not saying, saying like... that. It's like, but like, you know, he's a good example. Like all the shit you're saying, it's like, like you know, I get look, I I get furious too. Of like, what the fuck are people doing on there? Like bitching. Like, do you have anything else going on in your life? Blah blah. blah. But it's like, that's what the game is now. Like, like yeah. Like, that's what like um, that's what like. If you can have that type of uh, fan base or like uh, vitriol, like, and whenever you're posting is gonna go, it's gonna trend because you just said something and people half the world fucking hates you or half the world loves you, like, that's how you get um big now, you know? Yeah. So he's got it. I mean, that's the when he got canceled, man. Like, I'm sure that month after was the probably the worst thing in his life, but. I mean, this is a blessing, man, especially in the society we live in where everyone like people just when that article came out, I mean, yeah. when the thing came out, all these articles, Shane Gillis bombed Shane. It's just like, one, I think that's their version, though. No, of that's, like that's the they're way not of getting people to click on their. Yeah, shit, yeah, exactly. Man. Exactly. They're doing the same thing. It's you know not what I mean? What they actually but it's think. not real outrage. No, no. one's actually outraged by the nope. set. You know what nope. I mean? Like going the street. No one yeah. even gives a shit. Yeah. For him, I feel like. It used to be kind of at first about round people. Now it's more just like he's tapped in so hard to a demo. It's like if I, it, it's my demo if I like wasn't doing comedy. So like essentially yeah. me, the non, you know, comedian version of me, like they're, they're just obsessed, you know, with the guy. Well, and I'm not saying, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying like that's, he's tapped in to like, they're going to fucking defend him no matter what. Yeah. yeah. Like you defend Tom Brady. Yeah, it's the same type of thing. Sure, sure. Yeah. I got some buddies. Shane Gillis is there. Is there Tom Brady? Yeah, yeah. I know Shane Gillis. Yeah, I, he follows me. Nice. I, he admit, nice. Dude. Well, I mean, dude. Um, I worked when he him. was doing SNL. Everyone posting. Look, I know Shane Gillis. Look, we we were together one time. You know, like, you know who did it? Kevin Brennan. No, me. Oh, okay. Me. I wasn't okay. that fucking. <laughs> I wasn't one of those losers. Oh, uh, here's my, dude. Kevin was, Brennan was a good guess as someone who wouldn't do it. I don't even know. Like, I, I'm pretty sure Kevin. I would assume Kevin. Like, I don't know. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. I'm sure he likes him. I'm saying he wouldn't post a picture being like, "Look." No, at no. Us. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? In relation to that, um, I still get uh, because you know he has his podcast, and I guess people are backlogging now. Yeah. The people I went to school with are like, there's he mentioned he like he talks about our, our gig we did together in one of his episodes, and he mentions me by name. And uh, he says really nice things. He goes, Camacho, funny, funny kid. Uh, yeah, yeah. Asian, Chinese, Asian guy. You know, yeah, yeah, Chinese, yeah. South Puerto Rican. I'm like, oh, oh my it's God. like Camacho, that dirty chink. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That would be, dude, if, if it was me he mentioned and then he got canceled, if yeah. he called me a chink and right. like it got him canceled, I, I would, I, oh, I would have so much fun to come out and be like, uh, I don't know what I would have said. That would have been funny. Though. You only two ways to go. You could go the uh, the Peng Dang. I would have defended him. The no, Peng I Dang route, or the yeah, yeah. yeah. Even though Peng Dang, uh, I think it worked out for him pretty. Yeah, he's he's doing okay. He's at the cellar, I yeah, guess. Yeah, he's at the cellar. He's touring. Kevin Brennan recommended. Him. That's amazing. <laughs> but hey, I mean, everyone has their path, right? Yeah. But sure. Um, what was I gonna say? Um, I don't think I've ever met. Pe I think I've met him, but I don't remember. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But, met him um, once. Asian comedy festival. I didn't know. He was like, what's this guy doing here now? Nah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Half Asian guy, get yeah, rid of yeah, him. Yeah. He's half in this festival. I don't ever remember meeting him. And then when I heard um, he got into the cellar, I also, I didn't know he was the same guy from the Hinchcliffe thing. Mm -hmm. I had no idea. Yeah. Um, but anyways, regardless. Um, but I still get messages from people I went to school with like, oh, Shane mentioned you on on his podcast. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like. Uh, You're like, again? Well, it's just a funny. <laughs> that's no. like, it's amazing yeah. what people. uh your claim to fame is sure, sure, you know? yeah. I get, I still get. I did a, ra I did some radio promo for uh, my week, my headlining weekend last weekend. And they were like, uh, "We saw you were in a Jay Z music video." 
Mm. I was like, that was like eight years ago, man. Yeah, and yeah. Like I've done stuff since then that's like comedy related. But right. I, I don't, I don't actually say that. But I'm just like this. It's just again, Jay Z, um, all these like Shane Gillis, like these big things. That's what gets people fucking. You know, yeah, going, so. yeah. It's like the people, you know, comic like like when Patrice was doing uh, that like uh, web junk show. It was like Ta- was it that? was like the black version of like Tosh point oh. Yeah, and uh, he was like, yeah, fans would come out. They wouldn't know him from like anything else, not yeah. a stand up, nothing. They would just be like, oh, it was saw you at your show. Like we know nothing about you, like, dude. I forget yeah. that, um, and I always constantly battled. Like I want to be a stand up. I want people to know me from stand up. I want people to respect me. I do stand up. I, I always forget like Kevin Hart. When I first heard of Kevin Hart, I only, I first heard of him as an actor. Then I found out he did stand up. Mm. So I always forget that it's like sometimes it's like, dude, getting good at or being a good stand up is just working it out in live shows at the clubs. Like there's no other way you're gonna be able to yeah get that across. Like it's just about entertaining. No, people yeah, every put, like yeah. every not every but like a lot of sitcoms, like comedy shows, like. You know, all the actors, I, I remember before I, started, I would like kind of look into them and like, oh, they do stand up, you know, but yeah, not, well, not very successfully. But like, it's just like you, everybody knows them from the TV show, but they probably have this dream of like stand up that, you know, nobody really for the most part cares. Or they, about. their dream was stand up to get the sitcom and now they're fucking super famous. And then, yeah, yeah. Then you realize, like, then you realize, like, fuck like, that. Yeah. Why am I going to grind? You know, like that? Well, yeah. well, there's also a lot of people you're like, why they do stand up? I'm sure they suck. And then they're actually like, we're grinding for 20 years. Then sure. they get the sitcom. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's wrap up here. Um, thanks for coming on, bro. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. dude. Always yeah. a good time. Yeah. Hop on whenever you want. Um, again, uh, Kevin's got his Prohibition shows. Go check him out all over the country. Go check me out all over the country. JamesCamacho.com. And um, any any last words? March 30th, Soho Playhouse, New York City. Come on out. March 30th, Soho Playhouse. Come see us. Do our thing. Guys, thank you. We will see you next time. Peace. Say